makes sense. It makes sense if you believe in the future that these guys will be a winner and they'll have an iconic and aspirational brand. So Neo stock has just reached new all time highs. It does this as we are only one day away from Neo day and as we have seen massive media outlets such as CNBC finally covering this stock. Today we will be looking at the reasons behind why this stock went up so much and also all the recent massive news leading up to Neo Day. We are now hearing the mainstream media outlets finally comparing Neo to Tesla more and more and it is getting the attention of financial institutions more than ever. I want to end today with giving you my more long term price predictions for Neo years into the future so make sure to stick around. Now I know I have done a lot of videos on Neo these past days but that is because we are seeing so much happen right now. Ever since mid December where we even went below $40 a share at some point this stock has now reached almost $60 a share seeing an amazing recovery that's pretty much unheard of for a company of this size. Guys, Neo has just jumped past BYD, which is another electric vehicle company that actually Warren Buffett has invested in before. At this point, Neo is the fourth largest automaker in the world market cap wise. It is worth $92 billion and only has Volkswagen, Toyota, and of course Tesla that are worth more than it. Oh and by the way, it is worth mentioning here that exactly one year ago Neo was struggling hard to not go bankrupt. But thanks to additional funding from the Chinese government they managed to survive and now just one year later they are considered an EV giant. But anyways, why did we go up so much today specifically? I think it is mostly due to EV investors expecting NEO to announce some crazy cool plans on NEO Day but also because we are finally seeing the mainstream media giving NEO the attention it deserves. So let's get into that. I don't think there are some massive plans among the media sources not to give NEO attention but it does make sense the likes of CNBC would rather avoid covering and being bullish on a Chinese company when they could give that exposure to American companies instead. And to take this even further I would even argue that there is even a movement shorting NEO and telling investors as scaring investors to sell their NEO stock. Just look at these Motley Fools articles that just keep telling everyone to ignore NEO and it's going down, it's a trap and all those things. As someone who has followed NEO for more than 5 months at this point, I remember these guys saying that NEO is overhyped and overvalued even back then when it was at $20 a share. So I don't think they will ever change their minds really but I'm happy to see that the media is now finally covering and talking about NEO which CNBC just did. Since there are billions of dollars worth of NEO shares owned by American people and American institutions I am so happy to finally see this being reflected in the media. Before looking at a short clip of their recent reporting on NEO let's look at CNBC's article associated with this. They said that NEO may not be a recognizable name in the US right now but it is becoming a leading player in China's EV market. NEO has racked up over 6 billion dollars in costs since starting in 2014 and was on the brink of collapse in 2020. But it has managed to turn that around and become the world's fourth most valuable automaker. Despite setbacks due to the economic downturn, the company has continued to grow. In the third quarter of 2020, they reached $628 million in sales and delivered up to 12,206 vehicles. However, the company still has a long way to go before it can dominate the Chinese auto market. And guys, I think this is quite an accurate description of NEO right now. They're absolutely on the rise and I think that with the growth we are seeing right now they will be dominating the Chinese EV market and eventually the entire auto market. But right now both NEO and even Tesla for that matter only have a small percentage of the market shares in the auto market of China so obviously they have a long way to go. NEO has emphasized that it's a lifestyle brand. Owners get access to a social network and private social spaces called NEO houses. These gorgeous places called NEO houses where Owners gather to go to the library, have their kids play, drink coffee, hang out. 
It's just a house, a community. So that's one big way in which they've driven tremendous levels of loyalty. And as you can see, they are really showing that it is so much more than just a car company and rather a lifestyle brand, which I totally agree with. Just like Tesla, I think NIO will have a very easy time establishing their brand both even more in China but also in Europe and worldwide. It is so easy for users to build a community around their shared interest in electric vehicles and NIO cars and even the other electric vehicle users will be using their battery swapping services. And as we are only one day away from NEO Day, these are the things I think they will talk about. Obviously, along with all the recent technological innovations and the autopilot technology, which right now seems like it will be an absolute game changer. Oh, and by the way, guys, I will unfortunately not be able to live stream NEO Day, but I will, of course, do a video talking about all the main points they brought up there. It is actually live streamed on YouTube, and you can find the link in my description down below if you want to watch. So with this said, zooming out a bit, what share prices can I see for NEO in two years from now and even beyond? I don't like just throwing around random numbers, so let's look at the justified difference in market cap between Tesla and NEO right now. Tesla obviously being a couple of years ahead of NEO at least, but also being worth 9 times more, I can absolutely see NEO going from this to the hundreds of billions of dollars in market cap. Translating that into the share price, it would lead to something like $250 to $300 in the next years. And honestly, I am expecting NEO to get to these levels within the next years. But looking even further than that, depending on how well they can expand globally, we could reach much higher levels in share price in my opinion. I am all about buying these stocks for the long term, and even if NEO dropped 20% this very second, I wouldn't flinch one bit since I am not planning to sell my stock anytime soon. As always though guys, if you do decide to buy NEO, diversify your portfolio and make sure to own many different stocks from many different sectors and different risk levels so you always spread your risks and just don't become bankrupt if one single stock wouldn't work out. And even though I am clearly bullish on NEO, make sure to do your own research and come to your own conclusions. Since I am not a financial advisor, after all, I am just stating my opinion. And with that, I want to conclude today's video. If you are new here, by the way, my name is Sam and welcome to my channel, Financial Dragon. Here I talk about various different growth stocks and my opinions on them. I like to focus on electric vehicle stocks, stocks that I think have a great impact for the future, that are sustainable, that will just make great changes. But anyways, if you like this particular video, then please press that like button to help this video reach out to more people and spread the message about NEO. It is the absolute best way you can support me and I would appreciate it so much. And if you watched all the way to this point, and if you enjoy the content of course, then why not subscribe to the channel as well. I will make sure to provide more updates for you, and if you press the notification bell, you will never miss when I upload my next video. So with that, I want to say thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video.